In this video, we'll learn to sort 3D shapes using properties. We've looked at the properties of 3D shapes in a video at entry 2. Now, we looked at that time at the base, we looked at the number of faces, vertices, so we could use any of those to sort these shapes, So, or number of corners, for example. So, how many corners um, does a shape have? And if we recall, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight corners in this shape, eight in this one. There were five in a square based pyramid. And there were no corners in these two. So we could say this group no corners or zero corners. And this would be with five corners and eight corners. So we've just sorted these 3D shapes based on the number of corners but we could sort them in other ways as well and that's what we're going to try and do. So let's think of the number of faces maybe. So in terms of the number of faces, we said there was one, two, three, four, five, six faces in this one. And there were six faces in the rectangle as well. So these would be grouped together with six faces. And there were five faces in the square-based pyramid. And there would be three faces we said for a cylinder and one face for the sphere so one three five and six so different ones but we could also sort these in terms of the shape of the base so we looked at it before and we saw that the base of a, a cube is a square but also in the square base pyramid the base is a square so they would go together and this is a rectangle so that would be different this has a circular base and this has no base at all so we could sort these yep so could say a rectangular circular no base and square square base you could sort these by their length you could sort them by the edges the number of edges so there are different ways you could sort 3d shapes these are just some examples